Hi, everyone. This is Nate with People for Health and Fitness, and this is Advanced Circuit Training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We're going to do 40 seconds on each exercise. We're going to do eight exercises, and then we'll take a break. So let's start with the first exercise. First exercise, we're going to do a mountain climber. So, okay, so down the ground, you're going to go hips and knees, hip as fast as there is it. It's alternating legs. You want to go a little bit lighter, you can go one at a time. If you ever need to, you can take a break, come back up, and do it again. If that one is too much for anybody, you could just do a round of squats or something like that, okay? So, we're going five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. You can go quick. Go slow. I'll leave that up to you. Or you can always do squats as an alternative. Good. Try not to let your hips drop. You want to keep your hips up so you're in a nice flat line. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a break. You can stay down on the grass. I want to come down on the grass. You're going to do an alternating chest fly. So what you're going to do is you're going to lie on your back, bend knees, go straight up in the air. We're going to come one to the side, pull to the top, then we're going to go other way to the side. Pull to the top. We're going to go back and forth like so. so. If you have a shoulder injury, if you want to do something a little lighter, you can do a press up and down instead of out wide. Okay? So grab your weights. You're going to lie on your back, start straight up in the air with the weights. Take an arm, and three, two, one. Go ahead, one arm at a time, and then alternate each time. Make sure you do this one slowly. Pull it slowly to the side, pull to the top, roll to the other side, pull to the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can lose the weights, bring them in, place them off to the sides. Next up, we're going to do a type of a plank. We're going to do, uh, if you want, you can do a regular plank, but if you can, I want you to do a knee to elbow top. So I'll tell you what it looks like. So, knee to elbow touch. You do a plank. You're going to take one knee, bring it to the elbow. You're going to notice my body height doesn't change a lot. Just the end knee coming to the side. Or you can always hold it like so. Or off the knee. Off the knees would be the modified version. All right, so we're going five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. So, knee to elbow. Knee to elbow would be the hardest. Regular plank, just holding it would be the next, and then a modified version would be off the knee. I'm going to do just a regular plank, just holding it up. Keep my position, holding my core tight. So, okay, so. You got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, take a break. You're going to stay facing towards the ground. The next one's called a Superman. So we've been doing these a little bit lately. So a Superman, you're going to lie flat on the ground. You're going to lift all arms and legs at the same time up. If that's too much, you can always alternate arm and a leg, arm and a leg. Okay? But if you can, I'd like you to try to do all arms and legs coming up. All right, so we're going five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Try to keep your head down.
10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Take a pause. You can stay on the ground. You're going to lie on your back. Grab both weights. The skull crusher. Skull crusher is you're going to lie on your back. You're going to start straight up in the air with the weights. You're going to keep your elbows nice and safe there. Let the weights come down to the side. Elbows don't move. And then you just straighten the arms back up. Elbows never move. You want to the easiest way to get started is to lie on your back. So grab your weight, lie on your back, put your arms straight in the air. That's where you're going to keep your elbows. And three, two, one, go ahead. Let the, let the weight come down slowly and then extend up. about 20 seconds. I'll start demonstrating as you're all getting up. We're going to do a curl a squat and a press. So what that is, is you're going to curl it up. Then you do your squat. You stand up. Press in the air. Bring them back. Curl them down. Curl them up. Squat. Stand up. Press them up. Okay? So grab your set of weights. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. You're going to curl up to the shoulders. Squat with it. Stand up. Press it up. If you want to skip the press, if you got a shoulder thing, you don't have to. You can just do the curl and the squat part. We're up. And we're pressing. Curl down. Curl up. Squat. Stand up. Press it. Down. Curl up. Squat. Press it. Up. Let's go one more. Curl, squat, press it here, bring it down. Okay. Next up, I want you to have a little bit of space. I want to do some side hip work so you can lose the weight. We're going to do side stepping with a little squat. So I want you to come down in a squat. And you're just going to side step a few to the left, a few to the right. Go back and forth. So the lower you go, the harder it's going to be on your legs. You're going to get more thighs, quads, hips, okay? So we're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Start the squat. Stepping to the side. Try and stay as low as you can. Eyes up, chest up. One more time down. Good. Okay. Number eight, we're going to do a single leg calf raise. It's going to be a long round. So if you want to hold on as much as you can, you're going to take one leg, wrap it around the other one. We're just going to press up and down on that one foot. So we're going to do a full round on that one foot. So don't feel like you have to keep a really fast pace. It's going to get pretty difficult. So we're going five, four, three. Take one leg, wrap it around your right leg. Let's start with the right leg. Do your right leg. And here we go. We're up and we're down. Not have to go super fast. Go 
15 seconds to go. It's okay if so the cap starts to burn a little bit. That's totally fine. We're going to try to keep going up anyway. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good. All right, let's take a break. We'll take a little water break. We'll take 30 seconds, 45 seconds. All right, let's go round two. We're gonna start from the top. First one's mountain climbers. So, the mountain climbers, you're down in your hands. You're gonna go quick deep if you can. You're gonna go slow if you would like. You know, we just do a round of squats if either of those are a little bit too much. So, let's get set up again. We'll come down, come on your hands. We're going three, two, one, go ahead. So we start with a mountain climber. If you get too tired, you can come up and finish with a round of squats. 15 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come down easy. You can stay uh, on the ground. Bring your weight with you. Next up, we have alternating chest slides. So, alternating chest slide, you lie on your back, you have good knees, you go straight up in the air with the weight. We're going to go one to the side, go to the top, and then we're going to go other to the side. If you would like, if you want something a little lighter in the shoulders, you can always bring the elbows down and press right up to the air. Okay, right, so we'll go five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Arms straight up in the air. Take one weight down to the side slowly. You can go to the ground with your elbow if you feel okay with it. If you're not, do not force your shoulder to do anything it's not comfortable with. Ten, nine, eight, 
Come down easy. You can stay facing towards the ground. It's going to be the Superman next, so don't go anywhere too far. Quick refresher. Superman is eyes down. All the limbs go up and down, or you can alternate arm and leg, arm and leg. Nice. So, Superman, face the ground. We're going five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Keep your eyes down. Lift it up. You're already halfway there. Try to keep your eyes down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Relax. You can lie on your back, grab your weight. We have skull crushes next. This is a tricep exercise. Back of the arm. So, first thing you do is you grab your weight, you lie on your back, and bend knees. You start with the weight straight up in the air with the arm. You keep your elbows in this position. Weights come down, and you extend up. Okay? So, arms go straight in the air. In three, two, one. Here we go. Arms in the air. Weights come down slowly. Extend all the way up. Keep your elbow tight and still. Nice. Make sure the face stays slow. You can separate the weights so they can come down to the side of your head just a little bit. Second. Two more. Good. Bring the weights in. You can place them down. Come back to a stand. First one we're going to do it uh, back to a stand. We're going to do the curl, the squat, and then the overhead press part. Okay? So, I'm going to skip this round just without the weight, but I'm still going to do the motion with you. If you have a shoulder injury or back injury, you might want to skip the overhead press part. You can do the curls and the squats. Okay, three, two, one. Here we go. Curl up. Squat with it. Stand up, press them. Back to the shoulders, curl the weights down. Curl them up, squat, stand up, press them. Back to the shoulders, bring them back down. Curl up, squat, up, press it. Back to the shoulders, back down. Okay, hold that rhythm. One more curl, one more squat, last one press, bring them down. Okay, next up you don't need weights. You're going to do some side stepping with a slight squat. Don't need any more than just a couple paces one way or the other. Maybe three paces will be enough if you have space for that. So, get in the squat position, go three. Two, one, here we go. Eyes stay up, walk to the side. Go one more time down. One more time back. Good. Come to a stand. 
I've got one more, and then we'll take another break. We're going to do our single calf raise left leg this time. Up. We're going to take the left leg, just the left. Five seconds. You're just going to press up and down on that one leg. All right? Three, two, one. Go ahead. Left side. Pressing up and down. Don't come down too hard on that heel. You want to come down nice and easy. You got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right, take a break. Let's take another water break. We'll take another 30 second, uh, 45 second break. Our third and final round. We're going to start from the top. First one's our mountain climber. Mountain climber is on the hands. You can do quick, you can do slow, or you can do squat. Okay? It's our third time through. Let's go in three, two, one. Go ahead. You have three choices. You can go fast, slow, or squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come down easy. Take a break. Stay down on the ground. Bring your weights with you. We have alternating chest flyers. First. We're going to go a little quicker through this third round. You lie on your back. You go straight in the air. You go Here we go. Prop yourself up. Elbow to knee if you can. Try not to change the, the height of your body. If you're going to do elbow to knee, you want to stay as flat as you can. You 
got 15 seconds. You could always come down to a plank or just hold it if you get too tired. Four, three, two, one. Take a break. You might as well stay feet in the ground. We have our Supermans next. Supermans, our feet in the ground with your eyes. Rolling all the limbs up at the same time or alternating arm and a leg. Okay, we'll go in three, two, one. Go ahead. Start your Supermans. Try to keep your eyes down. It's a lower back exercise. Yep, you can always start with a regular one or go alternating if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a break. Grab your weight. We have our skull crusher. Skull crusher, so you line your back, arms go straight up in the air, elbows stay still, and you go up and down with the weight. Okay? So, lie on your back. Put your arms straight up in the air. Keep your elbows in that position. And here we go. Weights come down slowly. Extend them all the way up to the ceiling slowly. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Take a pause there. Lose your weight. Come back to a stand. We're going about 15 seconds. You're going to grab your weight. You're going to do your curl, your squat. Pressing overhead. So I'm going to let you do your own pace this time. So give yourself a good pace. Get your weight. Three, two, one. Curl. Squat. Press. Just remember that. Curl, squat, press. Keep going. Go on your own. Yep. Curl. Squat, press. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. You can finish up what you're doing. All right. Place your weights down to the sides. We have our squat side step. up, chest up, as low as you can. We're already past halfway. Ten seconds. Last time down. And you can pause it right there. Last one to go. We're going to do our single calf raise. We're going to split this one in half, but we're going to do it a little bit longer. So 
instead of 20 seconds to 20 seconds, we're going to do 25 seconds to 25 seconds each foot, okay? So take a foot because it doesn't matter. We're going to do both sides. We're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. You're up and you're down that one foot. Yep. Don't come down hard through the heel. You don't want to bash your heel into the ground. You got two more of them. And you can take a pause, change legs, and do the other side. You can get started right away. You can do three more of them. And when you've done your three, you can take a pause. And you're all set. All right, good class, everybody. Thanks for coming.